Support for WXAV is being provided by Cardinalis Cardinalis. Located at 9915 South Walden Parkway in Chicago, Cardinalis Cardinalis is a men's store that has apparel, gifts, accessories, watches, candles, fragrances, and grooming supplies. For more information, please visit CardinalisCardinalis.com. You can also call them at 773-991-4111. Support for WXAV 88.3 FM and WXAV.com is being provided by Bookies, new and used books. Bookies is located at 10324 Southwestern Avenue. They also operate a used book outlet at 2419 West 103rd Street. For additional information, visit bookiesbookstores.com. This podcast is being brought to you by WXAV 88.3 FM and WXAV.com. WXAV, bringing the best podcasts to you. Welcome, everybody, to the Unbiased Sports Podcast with Sean and Gavin. I'm Sean. And I'm Gavin. And we're here to bring you guys only unbiased news from week seven of the NFL season. We're going to start off ranking what we think are the top 10 teams in the NFL. Gavin, you can start us off. But first, I think we got to apologize here, buddy. Oh, man, we definitely do. Uh, so last week, uh, we didn't record. I was I was at a volleyball tournament for the whole entire day Sunday. Uh, obviously, we went undefeated for you guys. But um, yeah, I just couldn't watch any NFL games that Sunday pretty much. So we didn't feel like we were informed enough to make a podcast. So, But we're back and better than ever. I so Gavin, agree. start us off. All right, I don't know if you're going to like this. I don't know if they're in there for you. The Philadelphia Eagles. No, I got them in there. Oh, you do? Okay, yeah, yeah. good, 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 good. I, yeah. I, I got them at, I got them at 10. Oh, look yeah, at yeah. that. Perfect, look at perfect, us perfect. go. Okay, yeah, so, I mean, the Eagles, a really dominant win over the Giants. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's the Giants, but it's like. Daniel Jones. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's. He got silly. We were we were saying he wasn't that bad, like, a few, like, a week or two ago, He dude. didn't look that bad, but, this, yeah. oh, this game, yeah, no. Oh, it was I know, bad. I know. Um, I mean, the Eagles, they average the second most rushing game, rushing yards in the NFL per game. I mean, they have a really good rushing attack. They get their quarterback or they get their wide receivers back with A.J. Brown, Devonta Smith, even though Devonta Smith didn't do anything. Dude, A.J. Brown looked great. Yeah. Well, yeah. He, I mean, he's always going to It's A.J. Brown. Yeah. But Devonta Smith, one reception, negative two yards. Yeah, it was. Dude, it was he's actually one of the best receivers in the league. That's ridiculous. Yeah, no, for sure. But I think the Eagles, honestly, they're going to be a good team, like always. I think they. I just probably... think Saquon Barkley and the O line, obviously, will lead. Yeah. But I, I can't put them higher than ten, and I don't think they'll go higher than probably the top seven, just because I, I can't trust in Jalen Hurts. I don't have him over any QB. Ooh, I do. I don't have him over any QB in this top ten right now. Oh no, that's like, not that's not true for me. I have him over one. I I know I have a team in here that you don't. Oh crap. Oh God, who is it? Well, but, we'll find out. We'll find out. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't think I think the Eagles will probably steal a wild card spot. Um, uh, how's that? How's the NFC East looking right now? Commanders the on Commanders top. Commanders are Eagles. winning. Or the wait, let me. It's let me Commanders it Eagles. It, like for sure is. It has to be. Yeah. No, 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 no. Like it is. It's it's five one four two. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cowboys are three and three. Okay, Cowboys could do a sneaky little thing, but they. I don't suck, think the Cowboys so, are good. Yeah, no one does. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it was at number 10, but I can't put them higher and I probably won't. But I think Saquon Barkley will always just keep them in like the top 10 for me. I mean, he's so good. He's going to win them like many games this year. Oh my like, God, yeah. He, he had a crazy game this game, a revenge game. And I think that's not really going to change, to be yeah. honest. He's just the best running. Well, Derek right. Henry. Derek right Henry now, exists. he's the second best running back in the NFL. It, it's very close. It's like, dude, it's 1A, 1B with him and Derrick Henry. No, I like, I don't think it's Saquon Barkley. I think Derrick Henry is just simply like putting himself in a tier above everybody else. Like, Derrick Henry's been insanely good. Yeah. I think it, I, but I, I can, I think I can see 1A, the argument. For 1A, I think Derrick Henry's like, yeah. 1A because it's that close. Like, I, Barkley is that good. But, I think, I think in terms of talent, that's true. In terms of like what they're doing this year. Oh, yeah. Like, Derrick Henry's dude, just watching that. Derrick Henry, like, won in the game last dude against the uh, Bucks. Yeah, Derrick Henry, that one really long run that he got caught on. Yeah. He's got, hey, he's getting a little faster. <coughs> Saquon Barkley, he's making that run, I'll tell you what. Hey. He might be. All right, let's move on to our number nine. I got the Bengals. Yeah, so this is where our disconnect's going to be. I have the Steelers. Oh, the Steelers. The Steelers did look. Dude, Russell Wilson like looked kind of good. He literally his game plan was to just chuck the ball mm-hmm. up to George Pickens. There you and go, George it, Pickens. George Pickens works. might be like the second best jump ball, third third best 
jump ball yeah, receiver. He's in up the there league. for sure. He's like, a dog. Justin Jefferson, T. Higgins, like he's in that tier with them. Mm-hmm. Like George Pickens ability to locate the ball and just hold on to it no matter what it's really impressive i mean they have the, they have an elite defense i mean oh yeah eighth best defense in yards per game second in points per game allowed on defense what do you think's like, gonna happen with their qb situation though russell will start most of the season i kind of like justin fields i mean like he did like he they played were well too. they were they kinda, too. i mean they were a little dirty I'm oh no lie. for sure they did him dirty but i mean after looking at what russell wilson did obviously they it knew, makes sense they it's knew good, they knew idea. what russell wilson was and the fans didn't do you, do you think it's gonna stay like that do you think it's gonna stay consistent or do you think it's gonna transform back into the Broncos, thing is russ? the thing is is russ in denver didn't have he had Cortland sutton Mm-hmm. And I think the jump from Cortland Sutton to George Pickens in terms of, like, they're the same receiver. George Pickens is just way better yeah. at it. Cortland, Cortland Sutton will make a, a highlight. highlight. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Every um, other, like, week, bro. Yes. But George like Pickens ESPN. will just do that every game, mm-hmm. multiple times a game. Yeah. And I think that's really good because Justin Fields just didn't do that. Like, Justin Fields could just throw jump balls to George Pickens, but for some yeah. reason he wasn't. Yeah, I mean, they're different. They're different. Like, they're very different style QBs. But I think, yeah, so the Bengals are number nine. Uh, I, I still think their offense is, like, the best. One of the, well, one of the best in the league yep. with the QB and the two receivers they have. But I can't put them higher. And I honestly, I like, if I wasn't, like, biased towards, like, their offense, I probably wouldn't have them this high. But I really hate, like, their running game so much. It's, it's horrible. Like, they're missing Joe Mixon big time. Like, Joe Mixon's doing incredible things for the Texans right now. Yeah. And the Bengals have no type of, like, rushing game right now. And their defense, god-awful. No, god awful. no, yeah, for sure. And I think I'm starting to hop on that Joe Burrow bandwagon. He's good. Like, real good, real good quarterback. For even sure. though, I mean, even though this game was not a good no. showing, his I mean, last two haven't been Browns. like incredible. Well, the thing is, let's think about like them against the Browns, though. Like, Joe Burrow's like, that's the thing. It's it, he horrible, has a, but it's like, Browns. he's got to figure that out. Is he like he, what? Is he like two and five? Now, now we're we talking about it. Now, I believe he's, uh, Two and five, one and three at the Brown Stadium yeah. now. No, it, it's bad. Dude. That was his first it's win bad. at the Brown Stadium in his whole career. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Well, this Bengals team, like, well, the Joe Burrow era, they just haven't been able to win against the, the AFC North. Like, they, they can't do it. Like, so, they can't beat the Steelers, Ravens, or Browns. Here's the thing is for the Bengals <clears throat> to get into my top 10, like, pretty much at all this season, either they're going to have to start scoring, like, 50 points a game mm-hmm. or their defense is going to have to start showing up. Like, yeah. this team isn't good enough to be in my top 10 right now simply because the defense is terrible. And, like, here the offense really didn't show up that much. Mm-hmm. Like, granted, it's a really good – like, the Browns' defense is very good. Like, Yeah. And Joe Burrow doesn't play well against them. It's a divisional opponent. But, like, their but defense is pl- terrible. Like, I need that defense to show up before I can put them in my mm-hmm. top 10. I can just trust that QB and my for receiver sure. duo over anybody else in the league pretty much. So, I'll have them up here. What do you have for your number eight spot? The Commanders. Well, I put the Commanders at seven. I got the Bills at eight. That Bills are my seven. So, so we just okay. have them flip flopped. Uh, the Commanders. I mean, here's the thing: they're tied for the most points per game. They're putting crazy points up right now. Like they're I mean, on par with the Ravens in points per game. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Like Jaden Daniels still elite. Well, I'm really Jane hoping Daniels, he plays this week against the that's Bears. That's the thing. I think they might like fall off a little bit with him out. Well, no, 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 no. no. He, there's still a chance he plays this week. Oh yeah. Like it's not. It's not. What I, was the injury? It's was a, rib it a rib injury. Yeah, that's what I thought. He can definitely play this week. Like for sure Mm -hmm. but like i don't know if he will yeah but here's the thing if he misses it'll probably only be a one-week absence i'm not worried about the commanders well they also play the panthers though well i mean oh so they they pooped on them like i think it was like was it 40 it was it was was ridiculous amount of points it was a crazy score i mean the commanders will always like be good if Jaden daniels is in the game Mm -hmm. i just worry about his health as i've been saying all year yeah I, I don't think uh so I used to be like really high on like Terry uh Terry McLaurin. Yeah. I don't think he's as great as like I used to think he was he was, I guess. I used to think he was like one of like the greatest receivers in the league. I, I think he's like elite, but I don't think he's in that top hmm, top ten, maybe. Definitely. I'm not. not sure if he's up there anymore. So yeah, the thing for me is like everybody's been saying for years that like Terry McLaurin gets a quarterback, he's gonna be like Exactly. And now he's a quarterback and, and now he's a quarter he's doing a, good, a but he's like He's just like all right, yeah. Like he's just like he's a good wide receiver one, like yeah. But he's not like special. Mm-hmm. Like it's not like he's out there getting like one twenty a game and a touchdown. Like yeah. that's just not happening. Even though they're scoring the most points 
in the league every week. Like, so he's a good receiver though. Like, I don't want to bash on Terry McLaurin. He's a good good receiver, just not not that elite that people were hyping him up to be. Mm-hmm. I and was one of them for the Bills. I mean, I I didn't realize this. Josh Allen still doesn't have a interception this year. That's it's crazy. Kind of yeah. Like, that's just not Josh Allen. They have the fewest it, giveaways total per game, like of any team. Mm-hmm. Well, the coach finally you know, calmed him down, kept him under reins. But I, 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 I don't know. I can't be like super high on this Bills team. Well, I was obviously before, but after these last what like three, four, they've had mm-hmm. not not incredible showings. No, but yeah. with I think Keon Coleman, like yeah, okay, he did well, but I don't know if he's gonna do well next week or the week after that. He's not insanely consistent. He's just not really at all actually. But with Amari Cooper yeah. on this team, it might it might change things up. It's gonna be hard to like work him into that like offensive chemistry. But he still had sixty six yards, one touchdown. I still think he's. Amari Cooper is like one of the incredible receiver, mm-hmm. very underrated. I feel no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because he played on the Browns, I feel like that's probably why. Well, not much. even that he just played on the Browns. It's the fact that Deshaun Watson was throwing him the ball, yeah, and he it's just pretty sucks. not great. James Winston's about to do wonders for but that team. The reason I have them above the Commanders is I do think Amari Cooper will change this offense for the better. Like it won't be like mm-hmm. it won't be like drastic. Like they're going to become the number one offense in the NFL now. But I do, I do want to say that I do think Keon Coleman will have not a consistent role, but Keon Coleman will be better now because of this Amari Cooper injury. Oh, yeah. Because, oh, he, yeah. I mean, it's the same thing as, like, Garrett Wilson. Like, teams are going to start looking at Devontae <laughs> Adams. Garrett Wilson's still going to be good. Like, yeah, I think it's only going to make this team better. For sure. But we'll, we'll see. I can't, I'm probably not going to move him up much higher than seven. Like, I mean, they should. Because, like, Josh Allen, like, he still put him for 33, throwing 23 yards and a t- two touchdowns. That's not bad numbers there. No, like, no, no. They yeah, should. For sure. I, I think I think this can go, like, really, really, really well. Like, they can become top five, I think, by the end of the season. But it, that's only if Cooper works for them. But also, the rushing game didn't really show up this week. But I'm sure that won't stay like that because James Cook is pretty no, yeah, good. For sure. For I also sure. just, like, I'm not the hugest fan of their defense this year. I'm not either. So, either. They're just not. It's not the best unit. But. Yeah. But Who's I your think six? six, I got the Texans. Yeah, me too. So which means we're probably going to have the top five just in a different order, same teams. But mm-hmm. that, that that doesn't surprise Definitely me. I was going to say that the, the top five, <laughs> like the teams in there, it's pretty easy to put those five teams there. Really four. like Yeah, the top top four is, is kind of, and you the can't teams really there, switch them like, out. Yeah, like they have to be in the top four. Like put them somewhere in there. I also have the Texans, like, the thing is, is I, I'm getting higher and higher on this Packers team. Oh, dude, same. And Stroud put up a stinky game. Yeah, he did. And they still barely lost. Like, it was mm-hmm. a really close game. Well, Joe Mixon That's is what I'm saying. really good at football. Like, if the Texans match up with the Packers again, like, CJ Stroud probably isn't putting a oh, yeah. stinker and like if, that up Well, again. is Collins coming back this season? Yes. Or is he out? Yeah, yeah. Really? I'm pretty sure he's coming back at the end of the season. At the end of the season? Yeah, like, he can come back. Well, I playoffs. don't think... I don't think the Packers are going to go to the Super Bowl, so I don't think they'll well, meet up again. Uh, they, I really don't think this Packers team goes to the Super Bowl. I don't Bowl. In the, over, in the NFC, over the I Vikings or the Lions? I wouldn't even say over the Vikings. I would say over the, like, the Lions. Like I just don't think they'd beat the Lions. The I don't Lions think anyone so beats good. the Lions. I, Dude, I, that, that's an incredible team right there. But yeah, no, Joe Mixon, I think, just like is the only reason this team was probably close against the Packers this week and the only reason they're in six right now because CJ Shout obviously put up a stinker, mm-hmm. is not... He's not playing at the level he did last year, and he has better weapons. So he's in a. He's, he's got to figure it out. To be fair, slump. they are they are five and two. Like we can't. Oh yeah. I mean, we can call it a sophomore slump, but they're, it's just like the Chiefs. Like they're still winning games, so it's like it doesn't really matter what the stats are when they're winning. But games. we were like, but think about like the start of the season. Like people were saying, like this team is like almost like a lock for the AFC Championship. Like damn near the Super Bowl. Yeah, they were my Super Bowl pick. So I and honestly. I didn't have him this year. I think with Nico Collins, like they're a, a lot better. Like to be honest, with Nico Collins, like and I Joe would Mixon, because still... think about it, they had Nico Collins with Joe Mixon out, and now they have Joe Mixon with Nico Collins out. Mm-hmm. When they have those two on the field, like it's gonna be different. I don't know, but also Tank Dell. I was about to say if the play caller could open their eyes up and get Tank Dell the ball a mm-hmm. little bit, like granted, to be fair, only eighty six yards, like in the whole Texans offense, like yeah. I mean, there's not much real I mean, estate sorry, to go not around. the whole Texans offense. And the, the whole, whole t- yeah, receiving. The passing. Yeah. The passing game, like, you're not going to have a big game. Like, Dalton Schultz was their leading receiver with 28 yards, mm-hmm. and that was on one reception. Like Pretty depressing stuff. It's just, like, the Texans, I think, will have better offensive games than that. I don't worry about them. They're I was better. still going to put them above. Like, it was crazy. I was still going to put them above the Packers, even though they lost. But no, I, I couldn't. 
That's why I put I put the Packers at five. I did too. Just because they beat the Texans. That's and that's the only reason they're above. Mm-hmm. I think the Texans honestly are still the better team. I think I think Stroud I think they just didn't have a good week this week. Like to be honest, like uh, they yeah, lost by two you have a point. with eighty six yards. Like I also hate from the their Packers. quarterback. I also hate the Packers. I which think everybody does. But I mean, to be fair, I'm gonna talk about the Packers now for a second. Like yeah. they're Jordan, seventh Jordan in points per game. But he, see, that's the thing is you go straight to the passing game, but they're even better in the running game. Josh Jacobs has been insane mm-hmm. this year. Like, dude, the, he's been insane every year, man. He's just Mr. Consistent. Like, that's all true. He does even is, on the like, Raiders, he was like, yeah, he does, good. Yeah. And that's crazy. To he puts do. up yards. I mean, yeah, they they're tenth in yards per game throwing the ball. They're fifth in yards per game rushing the ball. Like their offense is just straight mm-hmm. up elite. And we know the Packers defense with Kenny Clark, Jair Alexander, yep. Xavier McKinney had. Like four interceptions to start the the season, maybe even five. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, this Packers team is a very good team. It's tough. I I almost put them over the Vikings too. Like, oh, that's crazy. I I'm really like oh, even you're the, really high on the Packers, man. I'm okay. So this I, is the reason yeah. I'm not high. Jordan Love. He's really good, but he's throwing too many interceptions. He's Brett Favre. Like I saw some that of those comparison. throws were bad. I saw, I the saw that too. I think comparison. It's yeah. like he actually just is. But some of the throws like aren't. Like good. Some of the like throws the are really are bad, bad, and then some of them are really good. Yeah, so it's like, like you're right though. You're I right, don't though. know. If it's he has too one risky. of those games in the playoffs, in the playoffs exactly. If yeah. you have one of those games in the playoffs, you're probably just losing if he throws two to three picks in a game. If you throw two interceptions against the Lions, like is this? It's no no shot. You're being that team. That's no true. shot. That's definitely true. And I well, I I like the receivers. I like how like. Kind of each week, like he gets someone else like involved. Like this week, it's Romeo Dobbs. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've seen Dontavian Wicks. We've mm-hmm. seen Jaden Reed. Yep. We've Jayden seen Reed Tucker Craft. That first week. Yeah. So I think. I, well, I think it's also props to Jordan Love. Like he's getting these people involved. That's, he's the reason they're doing good. And uh-huh. then Jordan Love doesn't have his guy. You know, like yeah. he doesn't have a guy on third down. He's just going to throw the ball to, which at times can be bad. But it's like. But I think he that can makes it, it better any, though. Yeah, he can throw it to just, anybody. Yeah, that well, shows he's more skilled. Is, at any given time, like we didn't even mention like Bo Melton, who had a really good season last season. Like he's not mm-hmm. even getting many reps this year, but like at any given point, the Packers should have four like good receiving options on the field, like every play. Yeah. The whole game, like there will be good like we didn't even mention Christian Watson either. He's hurt. Like he'll come back. Mm-hmm. Like this team is so a very deep. good team. Like this offense is really good. But I still did have the Vikings above them, but I have them at four. I got the Vikings at three, Chiefs at four. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Well, I was going to put the Chiefs at two, almost, actually. Just because, just because, well, okay, so my top four is Chiefs at four, Vikings at three, Ravens at two, Lions at one. Mm. I really, like, I can't trust the Ravens, like, defense that much. Like, they are so good offensively, but I can't trust the defense. But back yeah. to the Chiefs. So Mahomes, I Mahomes isn't the best quarterback in the league right now. Like he, he's he might be not number playing like it. That's for sure. Yeah, m- number like three, four, five. Like he's dropping. Like I got Lamar. Obviously, is just number one right now. I don't think I. I don't think there's. A I've debate. been saying it all year that Lamar was going to be the best quarterback in the league. I think Lamar's number one. It just I think is. I've got Burrow at number two. I also have Burrow at two right now. Jordan Love's probably up there. Number he's he's three or four. I mean, no, it's too wait, many the goofball. Picks. The goofball. It's too many picks. The yeah. goofball's at three. But he's still, I'm pretty sure Jordan Love has the most touchdowns, or he's tied for the most touchdowns. Probably. So, uh, I mean, yeah, the goofball. No. But he's the doing goofballs. like check downs. Oh, dude, that, he's in a system. He's okay. in a good system. I w- I want to I want to just rant here. I'll, it'll be a quick one. No, go ahead. Watching that Vikings Lions game, watching the Lions on offense, besides when big plays happen, is not fun to watch. Mm-hmm. He throws check downs every yeah, play i know like i love the lions i love what actually i don't love them anymore they're good now i don't have to root for them anymore mm-hmm. i hate how they play i hate their offense i hate seeing golf going night 16 for 19 i don't know what he actually went 22 for 25 yeah 20 he okay so yeah so imagine he missed if he three. Had a, another perfect game he missed three throws oh, and it's because I swear to God, every play. He only throws checkdowns, yeah. And then he'll just, uh, and then like he'll throw four checkdowns in a row, and then he'll just throw a deep bomb to Amon Rod, mm-hmm. Jamison Williams. Like it. Listen, it's good play call. Well, Jamison's out. Well, yeah, I saw it now. Too many, yes. too many steroids. I heard, yeah. Mm-hmm. But like, it, it just really, it really like grinds my gears. It just is not fun football to watch. Like I yeah. want to watch electric football, 
And like they have it when they run the ball, Jameer Gibbs can break any play. Like he had a crazy juke on Josh Metellus. Oh man. I mean, Jameer Gibbs is he had so his good. true like breakout so this good. year game. Like he had a great game yeah. against us. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Yeah. But back to the Chiefs. Dude, the Chiefs just like I mean, they're undefeated though. So they They're like, my one. Yeah. So my one. Sorry, mine goes <clears throat> Vikings at four, Ravens three, Lions two, Chiefs one. Once the Chiefs lose. They're probably dropping to like five, to be honest. Yeah. Like one game, they'll drop like at least four spots. The Lions will move number one until they lose. The Ravens will probably be number two. Yeah. Like everybody will just move up a spot. The Chiefs are not, they're not worthy of the number one spot, but they have the wins to back it up. I don't care what the stats say. It's the refs, man. And I don't care what it's anybody script. says. It's script. The Chiefs. Like, are it's undefeated. actually ridiculous that they're undefeated right now. It like, is. Watching they, the they games, they play so bad. I watched that 49ers and Chiefs game. I, I was sleeping, dude. I was falling asleep watching that. It was horrible. Like, oh. also, Mahomes, like, he had zero touchdowns, two interceptions during that game. Like, that's that's, he that's had, a stinky. Yeah, did you see that uh, that rush he had where he, like, dropped the shoulder into that guy? Yes. That was insane. Yeah. I No, that was. Oh, man. I might have to. Yeah, I, I would probably <laughs> quit football if I got dropped off by Patrick Mahomes like that. Oh, yeah. The Doughboy? I mean, oh, man. but ugh, Mahomes, like, that's insane. I still, for some reason, actually, I know the reason I still have all this faith in him. It's because he's, he's Patrick, Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes. Yeah. Like, like, he'll be fine come playoffs. Like, not but, no, yeah, but Kelsey, true. Kelsey's making me nervous. Kelsey really? is making me, dude, he had like 17 yards. Like, that's it's, true. it's getting worse and worse, bro. To be fair, though, I didn't have crazy high expectations on Kelsey this season, yeah. but I didn't have this low. Like, I was expecting, this is like, bad. I was expecting like 50 yards a game, like 40, dude, 40 50 horrible. yards a game, but like, he's having games where he's getting like, yeah. Kareem Hunt's like the only bright spot right now on this offense. That Kareem is... Hunt, silly, silly guy. Not, oh. not the greatest person, but he had. Two touchdowns at I'm least. I'm starting to see a trend here in the NFL that there's a lot of not great people. There's there. a lot of not. Do you think that, dude, do you think that's messed up? Like, athletes, like, ha- being able to get away with this stuff? Because did you hear about, like, oh, Joe yeah. Mixon stuff last year? Or, like, oh, yeah. two years ago? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It Where, is like, it shot is the crazy. kids playing with the Nerf guns? Yes. That's ridiculous. It is crazy what NFL, NBA, like, players can get away with. Yeah. Like, if they just do, like, a crime that isn't, like, murder. Yeah. Actually, we've seen OJ Simpson. We've seen murder. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How to get away well, with murder? I mean, most if if it's really like extreme, like Henry Ruggs, like that's what I was thinking. They will lock him up. But like the thing is, like I still think like like abuse like should be taken like more seriously with these professional athletes. No, like, yeah, bro, like kids are like looking up to these guys and stuff. It's real messed up. No, yeah, um, like I just don't understand how like Tyreek Hill. Yeah, one of the any was of the them. best receiver like, last year. Yeah. Like. This man is a, he's a bad person. Dude, Rasheed Rice, like, yeah. they just did nothing on the whole Rasheed Rice situation. And they had so long to deal exactly. with it. Like, it happened so long exactly. ago. Exactly. Like, people are, like, buying your jerseys, all this stuff. Like, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. But less on that. Let's talk, <laughs> let's, let's talk about the Vikings. So, I got the Vikings at number three. Sam Darnold still had a good game. 20, 22 for 27, 259 yards, one touchdown. Aaron Jones, he's a dog. He's doing so good this year. Justin Jefferson. Still Justin Jefferson. Yep. You didn't see that touchdown, sadly, but I, I did. Oh, I saw I it was live. so sad. When I came you went back. You to food, right? Yeah. When I came back, I was like, dang, like Justin Jefferson really isn't doing much. And nah. then you told me he got the touchdown. And I was like, oh, that was a nice touchdown. It was a calm little Justin Jefferson touchdown. I, I ended up seeing the replay. Like, mm-hmm. the thing is, like, with the Vikings, I have them at four. 58 to three I first think four quarter is too scoring low. margin. Do you think they're better than the Ravens? Uh, yeah. Just because defense is. I, I'm really low on the Ravens defense, bro. I don't I think if the Vikings and Ravens matched up though, like I think that Ravens offense would cook the Vikings defense. You like think so? even with how high I am on the Vikings, I think there's just because it's so hard to contain Lamar Actually, and Derrick Henry. The Lions really didn't cook the Vikings defense. And I think the Lions probably have like an equal offense. Uh, they still dropped like what was it, thirty one? How much what was well, the yeah. score? No, I still think that's dropping thirty points True. on a team is cooking, Kevin. Like, I guess actually, no, the Lions did yeah, 31 because they had they had four straight drives of touchdowns. We stopped them the first two drives, and then they scored four straight, and then we stopped them again twice, and then they the scored Lions again. defense is also really good. They scored the game winning field goal. Yeah, this is true. That's the thing though is like, that's why I could still be high on the Vikings because we only lost on a game winning field goal to the Lions, who just by and by far and away are now considered like the best team in the league. Mm-hmm. Like. I feel like that's a pretty good thing to lose on a game-winning field goal. Like, oh, that's yeah, the best sure. loss you could have, like... 
That's why I really wanted to put the Vikings at two, but I, I just think like when the Chiefs lose, they'll drop below the Vikings. Like I'm so yeah. serious. Like well, it's, it's just not. It's a very, very close to me between the Ravens and the Vikings right now. I would, I would still give the slight cap to or slight tip of the cap to the Ravens, but like mm -hmm. I don't hate people saying the Vikings, but like for me, there's nothing someone could say to convince me to put the Do Vikings the Ravens, over the Ravens right now. Play the Lions this year. No, darn. That would literally be like the best game in the NFL. I'm like 90% sure that the Ravens don't, but I can look it up real quick. No, I think you're right. But yeah, I, I do think, I, I think this Vikings team is going to stay in the top three for probably the rest of the year. Well, unless Sam Darnold goes ghost mode. It's going, here's the thing is we'll be, we'll be there for probably the next like three weeks because we have a cakewalk of a schedule the next few weeks. Got? um it's like the jags we play the rams this week on thursday night mm -hmm. football but they are getting cooper cup back sorry it's, Ooh. it's not the jags it is um so we play the rams this week the colts next week jags titans rams Col Ooh, yeah rams colts <laughs> jags titans is a really that's pretty easy schedule pretty great like so i think the vikings might end up being like 10 and 1 come the end of that Probably. And I mean, they should be. Then we play the Bears. That'll be a good game. Yeah. Oh, the Vikings will should get TJ Hawkinson back this week as well, which should be huge. Mm -hmm. that should I almost be... had the Bears in the top 10, dude. Oh, I, really wanted, I, was the... I really wanted to put the them Eagles, over the Bengals and the Eagles. The Eagles and Bears were the teams I was in between for that 10 spot. Really? Those... Uh, I was putting them at 9. because like It's not crazy. The Bears... I, think, I think they can beat the Bengals and the Eagles, like just because of that defense. Do you think the game between the Vikings and Bears will be close? It's not for yep. four more weeks. I think, I mean, every game the Bears play is going to be, is going to be close just because of that defense. It's That's so true. good. And also like when Caleb Williams like starts like figuring it out, cause he had that, you know, that kind of breakout game. Yeah. But the thing is like all the other games he just has been really like, so here's incredible. my thing. I think the Brian Flores, like, I don't know how bad it will affect. Like, actually it's just been cooking every quarterback. I think Caleb Williams is going to get cooked mm -hmm. by a Brian Flores defense. The stunts. Yeah, it the, can, the it can definitely coverage. go either way. I but, but but the thing is, I don't know like what I don't the know Vikings how much the Vikings, do against the Bears. That's defense. what I was gonna say. I think it'll be a close. It's gonna be a low scoring game. It's I don't gonna be like very, that. very, but very defensive game. I can't say the Vikings are gonna be in a low scoring game. We haven't. Like the Vikings this year have not been in a but low scoring game. Have you faced game. like this good of a defense? Do you consider the Jets defense that that good? Like actually, what the no. Steelers just did to it, <laughs> yeah. I can't consider yeah. it anymore. Because I, I don't think the Steelers' offense is that good. So it's like, because I, George Pickens, he's good. I don't think he's a, like, I don't think he's not a top. No, he's not top ten. Who? And then Sorry, I wasn't. George listening. Pickens. No, he's not a top ten uh, wide receiver. And then Najee Harris, I just don't like Najee Harris. I don't I know also why. Don't I know? It's just I think I overhyped his rookie year, and then yeah. they didn't do anything his second year. I think it, is well, why I don't just, like him. Yeah, well, he he is in the same tier as Rashad White for me, where he just is getting yards because he's getting so many touches. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. if he's getting close to, like, 25, 30 touches a game, of course he's going to go over 100 yards. Yep. Like, most running backs, if not almost every starting running back in the NFL, is doing that on 25 touches a game. Like, Are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Oh, <laughs> Put yeah. some pads on. Are you going to – would you wear that – Uh. Would you wear your concussion helmet? Nah. nah. Nah? No helmet? You know, you know, like the old like pads behind the neck. Like <laughs> I would wear one of those. Dude, I would back. too. I feel like I'd like run through everybody like that. <laughs> I would feel so confident. That's what I'm saying. Actually, Big no, shoulder pads. I'm looking too too tall. They just like they chop me down. <laughs> yeah, true. They, they just look, go for my you're legs. You're like same height as Derrick Henry. You're like an inch taller. I'm like two, I think. Really? I thought Derrick Henry was like six four. Oh, he's six three. Oh, okay. Well, but, still two inches like Hey, actually, two inches is a lot. Let me stop. <laughs> um, Might be too much. So, yeah, the Vikings have played... Oh, we played the 49ers defense. Yeah, okay, okay, never mind then. That's yeah, an elite. But to be fair, we only good. put up 23. Like, 23 isn't a crazy yeah. scoring game. And that was also when nobody kind of knew what this Sam Darnold offense was going to look like. So True. No one could, like, plan for it. But I still think that's actually beating... I think the 49ers Holy, I really forgot good. how bad we messed up the Texans. 34-7. I forgot how bad of a game that was for the Texans. Like, we really... The Vikings that was, that was really when everybody was, like... Pooped on the Texans. Shocked. Like, yeah, like, that's really <clears> bad. <throat> but all right. Let's get into the, the Ravens. Yes. Do you have a number two? Do you have a number two? No, I have them three. I, I have the Chiefs at one still. It's oh, okay. Ravens, Lions, Chiefs. Okay, um, so Lamar Jackson, I don't think we need to say anything more about him. Best quarterback in the 17 league. 17 for 22, 281 yards, five touchdowns, 50 yep. yards rushing. Yep. Derrick I mean, Henry, like, it, best quarterback, best running back. The, Rashad Bateman did decent, but I still... Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews, Mark Andrews is back. Shout I out. Think, I think he's don't back. I don't think he's 
back. No, I do. You think I he's think, back? I think I don't he think he's prime. Game. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me rephrase. I don't think he's prime Mark Andrews again. I think he's going to be an above average tight end again. Am I keeping him in my fantasy yes. lineup? Over yes. Cole yes. Like, it's not even a question. Dude, I was so low on him. I think I told you this when they were playing, but I was going to start Cole Komet on a bye week a over bye Mark week. Andrews, dude. dude. That's how much I was hating, bro. Do you do you want to know something crazy? If Derrick Henry wouldn't have been caught on that touchdown, you would have beat me in fantasy this oh, week. Oh, I know. Oh, I'm so mad. No, it's because I because I had the Ravens defense. That is why. I got to start like, well, because they just let the Bucks score like a million points on them <laughs> That's at true. the end of the game because they just really didn't care anymore. But besides that, the reason I can't put them over the Lions is just because the Lions just beat the team I had number one for all these that's, weeks. That's what I was going to say. And the Lions defense. have the most impressive win, I think, of yeah. the season. I just think the Lions defense is also a little better. And mm. I love Dan Campbell. I agree with that. The Lions defense, I think, like, is going to really miss Aiden Hutchinson. Like, I guess oh my, we they, didn't they see are. it. Like, we didn't see it, like, that much against the Vikings. Yeah. Like, sorry, we can't really assess it against the Vikings because the Vikings have just been so, like, good. But, like, I need to see, like... <laughs> I need to see the Lions play more games before I can completely say yeah. that the Lions defense is still going to be you, good without it. Did him. you see that that injury? Yeah, that oh, was yeah. bad. Yeah. That was one of the worst things I've ever seen. In my, oh my god, it was really bad. Um, I want to just talk real quick. It'll be a quick thing about the Chiefs. They like I don't have anything written about them in my notes at all. I just have one Chiefs, and it's simply they're undefeated. Like I said earlier, they'll drop once they lose significantly, and they will. That's what I'm saying. Time's but coming. That's the thing is, we've been saying you've been really? saying it every week. Yeah, but it's coming. The Chiefs just don't be losing. Like I don't understand how it goes. I'll look. No, nah, they got the they got the Raiders next week. That's a trap game. <laughs> it's over. Gardner Minshew. Here's the thing. We're gonna go. We're gonna go through this. The Raiders. They're gonna win. I can see them losing. Nah, Gardner Minshew has, has. He's gonna have a legacy game. Fair enough. I can see them losing to the Bucks, but I don't think they will. It's a primetime Monday night game. Oh the no, Chiefs no, win no, 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 no. I think they lose to the Bucks, dude. I think their Come first on. I think their first loss comes in three weeks when they play the Bills. Nah, I, I think it comes against the Bucks straight up. Or four weeks. That Bucks sorry. team is good. I think the Bucks team is good that too. Bucks team but is, well, the Chiefs team isn't bad. They're like six and oh. And they just got D Hop, right? The Chiefs but did D-Hop just get D-Hop. Is like, Bro, Joey he's grabbed D Hop like home. two minutes after the trade got announced. He keeps texting me like about to look at my trade request from him. Joey's team is so good. Yeah, I think my team is perfect. <laughs> no, my team is so bad. I don't know. Oh, man. My team is somehow squeaking out wins. I'm on like a three game losing streak. I don't want to trade with Joey again. I've already traded with Joey. Yeah, then don't do but it. But he has so many good players on his bench. I, I don't like trading in fantasy. I don't know. Really? I really like trading in fantasy. I just like, like the team I draft. I like sucking it out with the team I drafted. It depends. If I like the team I draft, I didn't like the team I drafted. I did right when I drafted it, and then Brandon Ayuk was a bum. So, oh like, my gosh. Can we talk about him for a second? Yeah. Let, you, dude, that was hey, bad. First off, that Prayers drop? up for a speedy recovery, Brandon Ayuk. Yeah. yeah, like I know you don't like him. You you don't gotta give him his. But injury, no, no, no. I no. will. In- injuries are bad. Yeah, prayers up for Brandon Ayuk. You know it sucks what happened. He wasn't having a great season or anything, but That's, like yeah. Brandon Ayuk, you know that sucks. Dude, but, I didn't yes, know he was York. all pro last year. Yeah, I didn't know he was like. That's that why good. I took Brandon Ayuk and like like. Yeah. The first pick of the third. round. I can't blame you, but he's just kind of he's got an allergic to Actually, catching no, I think I this year. Fourth. Yeah, no, it's it's tough, but it's like. I think the 49ers will eventually get back into this top 10. Dude. I think CMC's looking, coming back. I they 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 better start praying he is because it's looking bad. CMC it's looking will come bad, back man. and yeah, let's hope Debo like doesn't like Did you see like those pictures of Debo like walking around like super, super fat? No. Nah, dude, Debo looks fat. Well, he has pneumonia. He has pneumonia? He's in the hospital. What? Like, yeah, like he I think he's out for like the next like two games. When did he get pneumonia? Like right after the game or yeah, like yeah, like they took him to the hospital. What? Yeah, like he's in he's like in the Dude, I don't the 49ers know. Forty ers are getting going through it. I don't know if he's still in the hospital, oh but gosh. he was in the hospital with pneumonia. And it, I think I think he's supposed to be out for like one to two weeks. Yeah, pneumonia is a pretty bad thing. Yeah. Like well, I, yeah, he looked he looked super well like well in the game he looked fat. Like that's funny. I jersey, didn't even know. Which is weird. I always thought Debo was well, Debo, Debo's whole thing is like, yeah, you're even, pretty but he, athlete. But, but no, but like the reason why Debo's so like good after the catch is because like you can't take him down because he's like just a bigger, strong. he's a bigger guy. Like yeah. he's buff. Not how, like bigger like that, but like, like buff. How, I, I never really, I never realized he was like a, a power like type player. I always thought he was elusive. I don't know why. That's kind of just dumb. Of no. Me. Yeah. Well, that's why they like could put him at running back. Cause like he yeah. could just actually run between the tackles and just like, just doesn't get taken down. Yeah. 
All right, let's. Are we, are we done talking about our power yeah, rankings? Yeah, we can. Think? We can move on. Bum of the week. I got Devonte Smith. Uh, one reception for negative two yards. I not gonna lie, that's a Gavin McClumpton type stat hey, right whoa, there. Whoa, 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 whoa! This is blasphemy. <laughs> if I was in Devonta Smith's role, eight catches, two hundred and five yards, <laughs> four touchdowns. Probably, <laughs> probably. I don't know. I, I, I think, I think he should be a lot better than he's playing right now. I don't think Jalen Hurts is obviously that good. I think Nick Sirianni is also not doing very well for Devonta Smith. But mm-hmm. you're supposed to be one of the best receivers in the league, so you gotta start playing like it. No, you know? yeah, I completely agree. That's why I have him. And on I had, my bum I had of the Tank Dell as my honorable mention. So that's exactly what my bum of the week also looks like. Are you serious? <laughs> I, well, except I have Tank Dell as my bum of the week. Yeah. Oh, Devonta okay. Smith as my honorable mention. You could toss CJ Stroud in there. You could definitely. That's pretty bad for I thought, a player see, like I him. I thought you were going to have CJ Stroud. Like, nah. So that's why I didn't put him. But I think I would put CJ Stroud over them. I keep putting quarterbacks. So it's like I want to switch it up. That's why I thought that you were going to CJ Stroud because you've been putting quarterbacks. So yeah. I, no, I switched it up this year. I, I think mean, our this stud week. is our stud going to be the same person. I got two. I only have one. I got Derrick Henry and Saquon Barkley. Oh, okay. I went with the quarterback. It. I put Lamar Jackson. Yeah. I no, mean, I. I just think these two like running backs are having. They had 169 yards and 176 yards, like respectively, between. Well, not between the two of them. Yeah, I know. What you're you saying. know, both of them had. But um, yeah, I think like what they're doing is obviously incredible for the the game of football, having these two elite runners, and I think they're making like each game they play like way better and. No, I completely watchable. agree. They're making, they're low key making, they're saving football. They're saving the running back position yes. because yes. it's not just going to be committees. Like they're proving that you can have just one mm-hmm. insanely good running back and it can work. Exactly. And I, and that's I huge, just love actually. watching like a good runner, man. I, I love like, watching someone like put their head downhill. As just... a kid, I got to watch AP a lot. Yeah, it's which was nice. Pretty, pretty lucky, man. You could have watched it. <laughs> that's pretty nice. No one was stopping you. <laughs> it was the Vikings, bro. Yeah, that's true. The Vikings. I didn't watch TV when I was younger. I told you this. The Vikings just aren't, uh, weren't the best team for a while. Yeah, we had AP. That's all that matters. All right. Do you want to move on to? Well, our... Oh, wait, oh, who are your sorry. subs? Who are your it, subs? It's Lamar. Sorry, I don't mention Mark Andrews. <laughs> okay, hey, I don't blame you. You know, he's. Finally, he's back, finally dude. doing finally, stuff. Finally, he's yeah, making exactly. me look like not an idiot for drafting him in the third round of our fantasy league. <laughs> Whatever. All right, let's get to our uh, predictions here. Yep. Okay. So first one of the week is Vikings Rams. <sighs> Ooh. Right. Cooper uh, Cup Vikings? is coming back, but I yeah I am gonna take the team that's been winning games. I'm gonna take the Vikings. The next game could be a trap game. Oh, that's tomorrow too. Oh, let's go! I'm excited for yeah, that. Yeah, that is tomorrow. That's gonna be nice. Also, be nice. I'm also hyped for Damn. that. Actually, I don't, do you do you? Sorry, we're gonna. I'm gonna ask you something real quick. Uh, do you like when your favorite team plays on like Monday or Thursday nights? Mm-hmm. You do not like Monday because I practice. Um, Sunday night. Yeah, you like when your team yeah, plays because all okay, my homework's Sunday night, done. I'm I can cool just chill. With. Sunday night, I'm cool with. I don't like Thursday night. No, I'm fine with, well, I don't know. We're, I don't have anything. Not like, recently, because i got to watch Matt and Keegan sing. So it's like, <laughs> Oh, that's true. That, uh, Logan, yeah. I'm just not going to pay attention to them at all this week. Uh, sorry. Uh, oh, I said I was going to be going. I'm not going now. Like Now I, you're watching this game for I sure? I have to watch Dude, the just, just come and we can watch it on our phone or something. We can get a table I, watch on our phone. I don't want to watch the game at a bar. Uh, like, I didn't realize the Vikings game was on Thursday this week, but I did low-key tell Matt that I was going to go. You're going to hell. Well, it's because Keegan Keegan's been waiting on this one. This is country. Yeah, dude, you're no, you gotta go. You're, I think I think I might. You're have a horrible to go. friend, a horrible <laughs> person. You're probably going to hell. So <laughs> okay, next game. You you said Vikings, right? Or are you changing? Yeah, the I want to. I want to take the Los Angeles Rams. You're taking them? <laughs> nah. Okay. Nah. Let yeah, me that's give the, me right the Vikings. Dude. That's the right choice. This the, is a good game. Next the, game. <sighs> Packers Jags. What is no. that? What you're looking at? No, Eagles Bengals. Oh, we got different. Um, dude, that's close. But whoever wins that game is one of them is gonna go in my top ten this week. And if it's, it's a really be... good game, both of them might be in my top ten. No, I said one of them is gonna fall though, oh. for sure. I think, and it's gonna be whoever loses this game. Maybe it depends on if it's a good game or not for me. I don't I know. I think it's gonna be. You think so? Um, yeah, I think it will. I I don't know because I I really don't think the Bengals will be able to stop Barkley, bro. Like their defense is really bad that yeah it's really I really mean, bad that sounds about right um, but who is really stopping saquon this year like how many how many defenses really can you say are going to stop saquon mm-hmm. but i also think that the eagles like don't have an answer for t higgins or jamar chase so and that I, is definitely uh, true what about cooper got to get the guy that plays the game the right way on him <laughs> no nah, I, I mean i don't know 
That's a good. That's a good point you bring up there, dude. He's gritty for sure. Did you see? Wait, did you see the? Did you see that? Was it a fumble recovery by that Bucks player that I was telling you about? The grittiest touchdown I've seen in my life. Where they just like we pushed drag, that. No, he dragged Lamar or, yeah. Jackson in that. Like, oh yeah, like gosh. he was just like <laughs> carrying bodies in. Dude, that was incredible. Yeah, if I wasn't in a game, I would have came out and watched it. No, that's that was probably the best. Well, it got called back. But it was the best one I've seen this season. It was, dude, it was a sick, like. That was insane. I was like, I was geeking when I saw that. All right, I am going to take. Bengals. <sighs> you can take the Eagles. Take them. I didn't want to take the Eagles. I wanted to take the Bengals with, Uh-oh. or I wanted to take the Bengals as well. I'm going to take the Bengals as well. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm high on Joe Burrow now. Like I said, um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I think I, I don't think the Eagles' defense is incredible this year, and I, they got that Gardner Johnson guy right. Oh, God, I yep. Hate, give me the I Bengals. Hate give me the CJ Bengals. Gardner Easy. Johnson. Uh, next game. What, dude? Oh, we got to talk about Zach Taylor. He is like the worst coach in history. I you don't think you've watched many Bengals games this year? I've watched I've watched highlights, but like I haven't oh, bro, seen every bad. play to see the bad. So I haven't seen the bad play called to Zach bad. Taylor. That's the thing. Like there's a okay, few so bad like, coaches is it a in this few, league. Is it a few bad play calls or is it is he does it's he a lot do of the play offensive calls. play calls? Yeah. Okay. He calls and then like towards like the end of the games, like in fourth down, like he won't he'll just like run the ball with probably the worst one of the worst rushing offenses in the league. Well, because they're also a top 10 15 team depending on who you're talking to true and he'll just like run the ball in the fourth quarter instead of like relying and like probably like a one score game something like that mm. instead of relying on uh his like because they probably would have beat the ravens most of they play that was close against i don't remember but they would have beaten a few more would have had a little bit of a better record might be 500 right now if zach taylor wasn't an idiot he needs to get fired him and Nick Sirianni, they're going to have a trash off. You oh, know? God, I hate Nick Sirianni. <laughs> mm-hmm. I've already expressed my displeasure with that man. Not Who can a make worse calls? Let's Ooh, see. Let's see. That's a good question. It's going to be close. <laughs> we, should, like, we should make a bet on that. <laughs> All right, Who I'm going to say, calls? okay, you know what? I'll go, I'll go, with, the, I'll go with the Eagles. All I'm going right, to say Zach Taylor has the worst play calls of the two. You think so? No, but I, I want to go No, he, it, so. I think he, dude, it's bad. We'll watch that game. It's bad. Oh wait! It's gonna be at twelve p.m. So we'll definitely go to have that on. Perfect. I have the wrong colors. My bad. Oh, but we got the host is twelve p.m. Uh, okay. So I already uh made your prediction on the next one in my notes. It's Titans Detroit. Yeah, Lions. Yeah. Oh, we got the Bengals. Okay, so we got the Bengals and the Lions games up because Loki. Most of the twelve p.m.s are stinkers. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'll probably have the Packers Jags game up, but it'll probably be a blowout pretty fast. Yeah. But like it'll probably just be we'll probably so on YouTube TV you can have multiple games up. We're probably just gonna have those two Eagles Bengals and then oh wait no probably just is it just gonna be Eagles Bengals? Like we might just watch one game. Yeah, we don't need to keep the line signs up. That's gonna be a that's just game. gonna be like a a straight <laughs> blowout. Yeah. All right, next game Cardinals Dolphins. Cardinals. Uh, yeah, Tua, Cardinals. Tua I believe is coming back this week. He's on. He's coming back. He's on track to play. That's actually ridiculous. Yeah, he's on track um, to play this week. Dang, do I start Tyreek Hill? Yes. Yeah, probably. No, like if Tua starts, you start Tyreek Hill. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're not playing me, right? No, nah, you're we lucky. We just played, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, um, yeah. So you still, me... you definitely do. I don't know. Harrison hasn't looked like great. That is true. Recently. I'm uh, taking I'm taking the one, the first week back of Tua. I'm taking the Dolphins. Yeah, give me the Dolphins just because, I don't know. I need my, I need Tyreek Hill, my number one draft pick to do something. So that's, give me the Dolphins. That's definitely true. I have Jalen Waddle. I think I might start him this week. All right, Jets, Pats. Jets. Yeah. They're bad, though, man. Like, I they're think... not great. I, I don't think Adams is going to save them. Oh, see, I think the more weeks with Adams, the better they'll be. But, like, they're not going to get crazy. They, Dude, they're I, probably I just not think making they the both regress. I, I think don't... Rodgers and Adams will both regress. Oh, no, for sure. I think they're not making the playoffs, but Falcons, we'll Falcons Bucks. Wait, didn't they, like, just play? Yeah, they played on Thursday night. Remember that Thursday night electric game where he threw 500 or Kirk did? Was that two weeks ago? Three weeks ago? uh yeah i think it was three that was weeks three ago. weeks ago dang the vikings quick. the vikings play the bears between three weeks apart oh, okay um oh dang i'm i'm gonna take Give the, me the bucks this time i'm gonna take the falcons i'm gonna take the upset again i think the falcons, well, i don't know they didn't look oh great wait you gotta remember game, but give me you gotta remember evans and godwin are both out this game like 100 percent Oh yeah, godwin's cooked right godwin's out season mike evans is gonna be out with a hamstring for definitely a few weeks Oh, that's very unfortunate. Um, I forgot about that when I was. Mm, I, the Falcons might be favorites, low key, but I'm I'm taking it. I like I'm taking the Falcons for sure. Wait, that low key changes my whole entire prediction because I don't know who is Baker Mayfield going to give the ball to. Yeah, Kate Otten's been really good. Uh, the rookie Jalen McMillan. 
Who's that running back? Their new running back. I, I watched that. Bucky I like. Irving. I like him. Yeah, Bucky like Irving's him. really good. I, I bet. Uh, saying. Like, he's good. Man, just, yeah. No, give me the Falcons. Give me the Falcons. Yeah. It's not a bad call. Uh, Packers, Jags. I'm taking the Packers. Pack. Figure you are too. Yeah. We're together on all these except for one so far. Oof. I'm gonna switch it up. All right. Uh, Colts, Texans. Switched up on this one. I'm <laughs> taking the Texans. I mean the Texans. No, you gotta <laughs> take the Colts, bro. You're Anthony Richardson guy, right? <laughs> oh, I'm no longer an Anthony Richardson. What? I, I hopped off the. I hopped you off. Can't the hop train. off. No, I don't care. Dude, you said you were dying that hill. I'm dying on the hill. I'm. I'm still on it. Yeah. I'm still on it. Oh my God. Anthony Richardson. Go. He <laughs> this just is in his ear. Sophomore slump. Uh, Saints Chargers. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's switch it up here. Give me the Chargers. Dang, I was. I was now nah, you get the Saints. I was <laughs> gonna say the Chargers. You beat me to it. I'll take the Saints. Spencer Rattler is gonna pop off this game. <laughs> Chris Olave might be back. I don't like Spencer Rattler. I don't either. Uh, Bills Seahawks. I'm That's taking the Bills. Not a bad game. I'm taking the Bills. I'm taking the Bills. Dang. I I don't like the. I hate the Seahawks. Take the Seahawks. Uh, no, nah, take the Bills with me. Take the Bills with me. The Seahawks just beat the Falcons pretty bad. That's true. They did do that. Um, um, damn, this is hard. Give me the bills. Yeah, that's the right decision. Uh, Panthers Broncos. <sighs> that is like the worst game ever. I think the Broncos are going to cook up the Panthers really badly. I've heard the Panthers have Andy Dalton though. So <laughs> give me, give me the Panthers. <laughs> I don't know. He just, I, I've heard rumors. He was the greatest quarterback ever. So Chiefs Raiders. Uh, give me the Raiders. Yep. I'll take the Chiefs. That's a pretty. Man, you'll easy, be wrong, buddy. Pretty. You'll be wrong. <laughs> You're gonna be crying, dude, next week here. Hey, I'm gonna remember this. Bears Commanders. Oh, that's gonna be such a good game. Wait, what time is that game? Three twenty-five. Perfect. Uh, give me the Bears. I'll take the Commanders. Um, on the basis that Daniels Jaden plays. Daniels will play. If not, I am going the nope, Bears. Nope. 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 No, nope. fine. You know, I'll take the commanders with uh, yeah. who's the backup there? Mariota. It is Mariota. Dude, I used to love Marcus Mariota when I was younger. I don't know why. 49ers, Cowboys. 49ers with no Debo, no Ayuk, no George Kittle, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> let me ch- let me make sure on that one, actually. But I don't I thought I heard that George Kittle was gonna be like decently hurt. George Kittle? Yeah. Man, you gotta stop mossing three people. That's how he's getting injured, he's, dude. He's, he's questionable. Unfortunately, the Wi-Fi does not want to cooperate, but he is questionable for this game, so there's a chance that none of those three play. Give me the Cowboys. Uh, I'm wait, taking the boy. I hate Kittle. the Cowboys. I lied. I'm playing. I'm taking the 49ers. Huh. I can't take the Cowboys. He sprained his foot? Yep, that's what it is. How do you do that one? Probably by doing something. Definitely something. No, for sure. Uh, Give me... Hmm. Oh, he's considered day-to-day. He might play this week. Uh... Uh, give me the 49ers if yeah. George. Yeah, because George Kittle, Kittle will be back. He's day to day. He plays through injuries all the time. I Giants love, Steelers last Kittle. game. I'm taking the Steelers. Ooh, should I take the Giants? Be silly here. <laughs> Is neighbors back? Yeah, he was back last game. He only had like four for 46 though. Uh, well, yeah. Well, Daniel Jones forgot to play football. Do you think he forgets again against the Steelers defense, who's pretty good? Um. Oh my gosh. Uh, but you hate the Steelers, though. Yeah, give me, give me the, dude, the Giants are just so bad, bro. But you hate the Steelers. I do hate the Steelers a lot. They're gonna only move up in my rankings if they win this game, Sean. They're gonna move up because they beat the Giants. Yep. All right, man. And then they're gonna be you six do you, and two. bro. You do you, they're bro. They're gonna be six and two. It's a pretty dude, good record. <laughs> the Steelers. Are, why are the Steelers so good? Or five and two? Five and two, I think. Damn, actually. I can't believe they're not in either. I can't believe they're not in your top ten. Who? The Steelers. They are. They weren't in your top. Oh, they were. They're my night. Oh, yeah. Or, wait, no. The Steelers are. Oh, wait. Never mind. Wrong week. <laughs> Sorry. I was in last week. Yeah. The Steelers are nine. Oh, okay. Damn, wait, I, I tweaked. I tweaked. Give me the. Uh... Oh, give me the Giants. <laughs> <laughs> They're Good just choice. not going to win. Good choice. It's all right. Because I'm going to get the Raiders beating the Chiefs right. So oh, that's all that matters. Yeah. That's going to be a big one for me. For sure. For sure. That'll definitely be I'm a telling big you. one. Let me... Dude, I'm telling you. Wait. Let me. Let me. Let me search up the. Raiders last few games against the Chiefs. Yeah, I definitely think it's totally good games that the Raiders are definitely winning. No, I, I think it'll be a yeah. They they beat them. Wait, really? Last time, like, it, like I'm a hater. The the Raiders like are always like a trap game for the Chiefs, hey. like because they're bad but they win somehow. The Chiefs will win this game by thirty. By thirty. 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 Twenty. Th- five. No. Twenty four. No. No, the Raiders are gonna win this game, but hey. uh. Fair enough. So I, I think that's all we have for this week. Yes, sir. You got anything else, Gavin? No, I think I'm good. 
All right, that wraps up this week. This has been Unbiased Sports with Gavin and Sean, where you can find intelligent and unbiased takes on the NFL. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you guys next week. Have a good one, you guys. Thank you very much for listening to this WXAV 88.3 FM podcast. Be sure to visit our website, WXAV.com, for more information on your escape from ordinary radio.